Welcome back to PSC Tech Bytes. Today we keep on talking about how we can manage plans in Microsoft Planner, but this time using Microsoft Power Automate. And specifically, we can use Microsoft Graph to create a new plan in Planner and eventually to pin a new tab in a channel in Microsoft Teams. Aside from that, we can rely on out-of-the-box already existing actions in Power Automate to manage tasks, buckets and stuff like that. In order to use Microsoft Graph in Power Automate, I would suggest you to rely on an application registered in Azure AD for application only, with application only permissions. And you will need to have the uh, permissions for tasks.readwrite.all and the teams.tab.create if you want to create a new tab in a target channel in Microsoft Teams. So let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to do that in practice. So let's start having a look at the Azure Active Directory application that you need to register in order to consume Microsoft Graph from within Power Automate. This is an application that I have already registered and aside from the client ID and the tenant ID that will become useful later in Power Automate, we have this application which is configured under certificates and secret to have a client secret and in the API permission section I configure the tasks.readwrite.all application permission as well as the teams tab.create permission in order to be able to create a tab in a target channel in Microsoft Teams. So now switch to the uh, Power Automate flow. This is just uh, a really simplified version just for the sake of simplicity. And here I have a manually triggered uh, flow in which first of all I'm going to make an HTTP request to create a plan in a target group in Microsoft 365. So let me open this item and remember that the HTTP consumer requires premium license in Power Automate. I make a POST request targeting the endpoint of the plans in Planner in Microsoft Graph V1 and I'm specifying in the body of my request that I want to create a plan with this specific title and targeting this group ID. Indeed, in a real uh, Power Automate flow, you will have to retrieve the group ID using additional actions to query for the groups, or it might eventually be an input argument that it will provide to the uh, Power Automate flow. In order to be able to consume Microsoft Graph, you will also have to access the advanced options in your HTTP action. And right here, you have to specify that you want to use Active Directory Open Authorization. This is the authority URL that you usually use for Azure Active Directory in regular Microsoft 365 tenants. You have to specify the tenant ID and the audience, which will be graph Microsoft.com under HTTPS. The client ID of your application that you want to authenticate using a secret or you can eventually choose to authenticate using an X509 certificate and then you will have to specify the client secret for your application. Then the HTTP action will take care of handling the open authorization and shake for you and to get an access token to consume the target Microsoft Graph endpoint. By doing that you will create a plan in Microsoft Planner and the result will be a JSON object that we need to parse in order to get back uh, eventually the title of the uh, plan that got created as well as and for sure the ID of the plan that got created. So that later on we can rely on out of the box actions uh, in Power Automate like the create bucket one uh, which will simply uh, create <coughs> a bucket in a plan specified by ID. This is the ID that we have got back from the creation of our plan, as well as the group ID, which again can be a variable that you can configure reading the groups uh, uh, via dedicated actions. Then we create a task in that bucket. So we need to specify again the target group, the target plan ID, the title of the task and the bucket where we want to create the task and eventually a bunch of additional input arguments which will allow you to uh, specify additional settings for the task that you are going to create. Once you have done that, you have created the plan in Planner and you have created a bucket with a task. If you also want to pin a tab in uh, a Teams channel, you also need to do another HTTP request uh, in Power Automate. Again, it will be a POST request. This time, the target will be the uh, 
teams slash the ID of the team slash channels and the ID of the target channel. So again, you should retrieve this information using additional actions, but now the focus is how to play with uh, planner and not with, uh, generally speaking, with uh, uh, groups uh, and teams in Power Automate. In the body of the request, you will have to specify the configuration of your uh, uh, custom tab. So you have to specify a display name and you have to specify a configuration. And in the configuration, in the content URL and in the remove URL of your tab, you will have to specify the plan ID, which is again the ID that you have got back when you created the plan using the uh, first HTTP action, as well as you have to specify the website URL uh, properly configuration property of the tab and again in there you have to specify the ID of the plan and as like as before it is an HTTP action which will need to rely on open authorization and Azure Active Directory so in the advanced options one more time we have Azure Active Directory open authorization and the same settings as before by doing that we can run this uh, flow let me test it manually and locally let me do that test it will take uh, a little bit but it should be quite fast to run and we will be able to see that the result is that we have got our uh, tab created in a team channel and we have the plan created in there so if i go back here i see that i have a custom plan and i can refresh my browser for a better result and we can click on the tab that i've just created and in this tab we have let me reload it we have our plan i can go to the board view and i can see that i have my auto generated bucket with my auto generated task like always thank you for watching this video i hope you found it interesting and i'm really looking forward to seeing you next week thank you